Hey guys! So I've been going to an art school for four years now and about a week ago I finally graduated. So we're gonna start with year one. The very first thing I made was a persona of myself. Now before I attended this art school I bought a drawing tablet like one year prior to that so I had one year to practice a little bit but I still had no idea what my actual art style was so my persona is a bit of a mess I wanted to keep the game aspect in mind so it kind of looks like a character info sheet a little bit of a customization options right here and there all in all not too bad after that I did my first ever background and character illustration the teachers gave us like a background story and we had to come up with a background and a character for that so this is mine and as you can see very flat the composition is all right I guess I could I could have done it better but the shading is quite flat then later we got a project in which we had to show like what we could do as an artist to show that we were um, fit for this education because after year one you could still get kicked out but because i still had no idea what the fuck i wanted to do in my life i decided to focus on you know the game aspect of this education this course and um, combine it with one of my favorite things ever pokemon <laughs> So I turned this 3D area in Pokemon Sun and Moon, I think, um, into this 2D side-scroller image. After that project we got feedback, and my feedback was that I need to make more original stuff and not just stick to fan art. So the next project that I set up for myself was create an original character, like make the entire thing as original as possible and come up with everything myself. So I created the Witch of Aeon. I think this character is pretty cool. It's a bit boring. I think the process was better than the end result itself, but it's still kind of cool. As you can see, this art style is very like basic. I, It's not really stylized, it's like a very basic art style. But over the years I experimented more with that and you can very clearly see the growth in that. But besides 2D classes, we also had 3D classes, so I, I made a couple of things in Blender. But this is probably, you know, the coolest thing I made in 3D in this in these four years. It's a cute world, so you make like a, a, a square of like 20 by 20 meters and you have to build something in that. So I made like this, this ruined building um, with a huge skeleton in it and that was sick. It looks so cool with the lighting. Okay, next is year two. We started off with the Meet the Artist and I'll just show you the picture because holy shit. I don't I don't know where this came from, but compared to you know the persona from year one, what the fuck? It's so stylized and more like me instead of like this generic boring drawing, you know? Still really really like this one. For this class 2D art we got to learn, you know, the basics of drawing. And first off we did anatomy. So this was like a step-by-step -step class of drawing a skeleton the muscles, the skin, and then, you know, turn it into something cool. We also got to experiment with a bit more commercial stuff. So I did this book cover. I really managed to combine, you know, what the book is about with my own style and what I like to draw, and I think it works really well. Then for 3D art, we had to build our own playable world in Unity. So I made a bunch of assets, like a shitload of assets, and placed them all in that world and you could actually walk around in this. Then for 2D art we got a class about shading and drawing realistically and I think this is still one of my best work. It's crazy to see how realistic I can draw digitally. Like I knew I could draw pretty realistically with an actual pencil but digitally it's a bit more tricky for me but after this class I was like mind blown. And the drawing of the flowers isn't even done and it already looks fucking cool. Then for another class we had to design a background illustration and I think this is still one of my best works ever. I love all the work I made in year two. The composition, the colors, the line art, the lighting and the way it's stylized fucking love it man then for 2d art we had to design weapons for a certain time period and the time period i got was mongolian empire i had no idea what the fuck that was <laughs> but after a lot of research i came up with these weapons and i think they look really fucking cool then we got about a week for like this mini challenge of drawing yourself in uh, three art styles that already existed so i chose pokemon demon slayer and wings club i think it's a really good example of my skills to you know adapt 
to a different style or an already existing style. So I'm quite happy with this end result. Then one exam that I did was designing a mural for like a cafe. The cafe was called The Botanist. So I drew like this very cool, very old aesthetic mural of you know, a bunch of plants and flowers. I think it looks good, but it has more potential, like the composition and the way I stylized it. I don't like it now that I'm looking back at it, but it's still pretty good. All right, on to year three. Year three and four were a big fucking mess when it comes to, you know, school and the education itself, because they decided to change the education while we were still doing and the education, <laughs> so that was fucking great. Everything went to shit and I made way less things than I wanted to make and not very proud at all of them. One thing I am proud of though is this project I made, which is like this ceramic collection I made myself, which is really fucking cool. Like I got to work with my hands, I got to do something that I've always wanted to do. I tried to make like a collection so everything looked cohesive and I could present it in a cool way. So I came up with this egg design and yeah, I think all the pieces together look really cute. Then we got to do another cube world in 3D, but uh, at this point I forgot everything I ever learned in 3D. <laughs> so I wanted to try to combine 2D and 3D because I love 2D so much, but this was a 3D project. So I drew a couple of 2D assets and I tried to make like this 3D world with it. And I think it looks kind of cool. We only had about two or three weeks with this, so you know, not a lot of time. Then the next project might be the best thing I created these four years and I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I, I decided to make like this fake Patreon drop um, with about three tiers I think because I have a poster, a postcard and a sticker. I really like how the poster turned out. I have it here actually, <laughs> I just remembered. The way I stylized the poster and the way I combined like pencil art with digital art in the postcard. Love it so much. And I guess my school also liked it because it got posted on the official Instagram of my school. <laughs> Next I did a collaboration with one of my best friends from school and we made a tote bag design together. This project was more about the experimenting and the process than, than the end result, but I still think the tote bag looks pretty cute. Then for a group project we designed a couple of pages and stories for a children's book and I made the storyboards and the line art for two of those stories. Then in year three we also had an internship of like five months I think and in those five months we worked on a game for a museum in a city nearby. It's called Panic at the Gates which really sounds like a Panic at the Disco meme if you translate it in English. <laughs> <laughs> but my share in this project was the title scene and all the scenes for the intro video and the background for the actual game itself. And then lastly, all the projects from year four. So the first project I'm not very proud of, but you know, shit happens. It was supposed to be like a drawing truly about me and who I am now and finding that out through different experiments and sketches and stuff. But the drawing isn't good enough for a project that you had five months for. <laughs> The next one though is a project I'm very very proud of because it captures really well what I could do as a game artist I think. We had a couple of deliverables and we got a theme which was Chrono Maze and we had to make a character and title art for that and this is what I came up with. I think the end result is really fucking cool and also just the way I presented it is pretty professional I think so yeah I'm pretty pleased with this and this drawing also got featured on my school's Instagram so pretty cool. And then lastly this year ended with another internship of like five months and this internship was so good. For this internship I got sorted into a group of students from another school who are making their own game and I got to be the concept artist of that. So in those five months I created a whole bunch of stuff including the protagonist of course, five side characters who were like this th these animal companions of the protagonist. I made a poster for their first official presentation to the public and the teachers. I made these buttons to celebrate their presentation because out of all the groups from that class they did the best. I made this scenery drawing of the protagonist with their animal companions and as you can see it's kind of in the style as that background illustration from earlier and then I also made this cutscene for one of the companions background stories and those were all the projects I made these four years. I think you can see a very clear growth 
when it comes to art style, when it comes to composition and colors. And you can also very clearly see it in the process and in the research and experiments that I've grown a lot and I can do things much more professionally now and I can make things that are useful for, you know, the client or the opposite team or whatever. I have a Behance page in which you can see the full process of every project I've made. I also have sketchbook tour videos of year one and year two, so if you're interested in that, they're linked in the description. And for a couple of projects, I filmed the actual process. I made a YouTube video about those, so I will link those in the description as well. So yeah, you can go check that out. Um, thank you for watching. It's been a while, I know things have changed a lot. But I'm trying to get back into it, so... Also, it's July, so Art Fight is going on right now. If you're a fellow artist, please follow me on Art Fight. I am drawing a lot. And then maybe I can draw your character. But yeah, follow my socials to stay updated on things like that. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye!